What's up guys, I finally figured it out. I've been trying to figure this out for the longest time, like I've been looking for videos and I can never find it, so here it is. So we got a vocal here. Oh, I feel it tonight. And let's say you want to tune it a different way, like you want it to sing completely different notes. So you can either go into new tone and like completely do that, or you can do it in midi which i've been trying to do for like the longest time so get something like waves tune real time um this has the feature the midi input keyboard so you, to turn that on you press target pitch and then you go on to your you go into these settings right here and uh, input port put this to whatever channel you have your midi settings on so my my keyboard right now is on port number 21 so put it at the same one as that one now if i play anything on my keyboard you can see that this lights up now and if you have the reference tone on you can you can see that it's actually on but the thing is um you can't like if you want to use that, you have to record it. Oh, I feel it tonight. There's something like you have to go into you. You have to go to Edison. Oh, I feel it tonight. This. So in Ableton, you can just have a MIDI channel and route it into this. And I don't really know how it works, but in FL Studio, you have to do something else, which is basically the same thing. And that is you use the MIDI out generator. So here it is. And the port, you just want to use the same port. And there we go. Now we can write anything. Oh. And just drag the, the channel in, and now we will tune it. Oh, I feel it tonight. There's something inside that I can't. There we go. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So I try to make educational videos every now and then on videos that people don't really cover. Stuff I've been trying to learn. So if you ever want to learn a certain way to do something, then just comment below and I'll make a video on it in a couple days.